this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back with quick hits. Uh, we're going to get into this Anthony Joshua fight that is tomorrow. We have the Harlem Eubank fight, which is on in about, well, now. I think it's on. I think it starts now. So we're going to check that out. Uh, before we do, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, quick, uh, follow also, follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into uh, Anthony Joshua. This it's tomorrow night. Um, the main event, uh, it's at the O2. <clears throat> Good little card. We got Fabio Worldly, Galal, uh, Yafai, and Admiral Williams on the undercard. You also got guys like John Hedges, Campbell Hatton, John Flynn. It's a nice little card, deep card. Good card. Um, you got Fabio Worley in the step of fight against Michael Polite Coffee. Um, and I don't know why Emma Williams is fighting some dude named River Wilson Bent, but you know, it's a party, I guess. He, this guy got knocked silly. Yeah, I, I don't know why Emma was fighting this guy, but you know, it's what it is. It's what it is. Uh, but the main event's a good one. Um, and um, Anthony Joshua is still regarded as the third or fourth best heavyweight in the world. Um, you know, he, he did beat Ruiz. You know, he also got knocked out by Ruiz. I, I think if both guys were, were mentally and physically fit, I do think Ruiz would win. But here's my thing on Anthony Joshua. His legacy is very much on the line today. Because, um, you know, if, if you talk about this era of heavyweights, he's not the best heavyweight of this era. He's not the second best heavyweight of this era. Then it gets interesting, right? Is he the third best heavyweight of this era or is he the fourth best heavyweight of this era, right? Those guys are kind of forgotten. Um, and if he loses to Franklin, his run as a top-notch heavyweight is over. It's complete. I, I don't know if he's going to continue to fight on if he loses. And this is – I'm going to pick Joshua to win. Okay, I'm going to put that out there. This is not a walkover. This is not an easy fight. Like, um, Jermaine Franklin is, we'll get into Jermaine Franklin in a minute, but he, he's a respectable heavyweight, good athlete. He appears to be in tip-top shape. He's got some skills, right? His power, eh, you know, um, which is kind of the why, right? Like, to me, could he score a knockout? Yeah, but his best bet, like we saw this with Jerry Forrest on the Showbox card, um, his and, and with Rydell Booker, his two biggest names, right? He's going to have to score. He's going to have to win, right? He's got skills. He can outbox people, right? But Joshua can obviously knock you out, and he can outbox you. So now he's got to go into uh, England and get a decision, not just outbox Joshua, but outbox him so badly he gets a decision. That's going to be a tough thing to do. That's going to be a really, really tough thing to do. Not saying it's impossible, but I wouldn't bet on it, which is why I would bet on Joshua by a decision. I, um, you know, Joshua has never looked right since the uh, Ruiz knockout. I know he came back. He scored some wins. He beat Ruiz. He outboxed him from the outside, which, which was strange to see him do that. You know, he slimmed down. Then he destroyed Kubrat Pulev, and, and I think, has been his best performance since, I don't know. I mean, I, like going all the way back, like when he was destroying Charles Martin in Brazil and Molina, and those were seven years ago. So I, I, I the pull-off performance was good. Then he goes into Usa, Usyk first fight in 2021. He gets schooled by Usyk. Then he goes, fights him, you know, almost a year later again in a rematch, gets schooled even worse, I thought, right? Um. Then 
Now he got the Franklin fight. So he really, and then you start to look at it, right? Then you start to really break down his legacy. And I've always been complimentary of Joshua, his willingness to fight. He's got a win over Pavekin, who was washed. He's got a win over Parker, which was very unimpressive. He's got a win over Takam, which was very unimpressive. He's got a win over 40-something year old Vladimir Klitschko, which was amazing fight. Amazing fight. But it was a 40-year-old Klitschko. Then you go, he's got wins over my boy, Eric Molina. He's got a win over Dominic Brazil. He's got a win over Charles Martin, right? He's got the win over Dillian White, which in retrospect, and Kevin Johnson, in retrospect, the win over Dillian White is the best win on his resume, right? And that was before Dillian White was, was somebody. So his, his, again, and I'm not accusing him of ducking anyone. What I'm saying is right now his resume, his legacy is not great. And if he loses, that's it. I, I feel like he's done. And it's not an easy fight. Yes, I'm picking him to win. And if he wins, I don't know where we go from here. There are plenty of fights. Would you guys like to see him fight Fabio Worldly? Right? I, I guess the winner of um, Fury versus Usyk, which isn't going to happen, would be the next logical play, but that's not going to happen. Do they make a fight with Fury? Um, you know, Fury... Obviously, he's ducking Usyk, but he seems eager to fight Joshua because he can beat Joshua. Is that a fight they make? You know, do you have a rematch with, with Dillian White? Did these wins do anything for him? Right? So, I, I, I like Joshua. I think he's a great ambassador for the sport. I think he's a good heavyweight, right? He's in the wrong era with us. You know, three, heavy, at least two. And maybe three. You know, he he didn't fight. He, he didn't fight Fury. He he hasn't fought Fury. He never fought Wilder when that was hot. When that was the fight, and he lost to Usyk twice. So his best, and he's got wins. He, and he's got a win with over Ruiz and a win over White. That's not bad, right? Those are good wins. But it's not an all-time great legacy. It's not an all-time great resume when those are your two best wins. Splitting with Ruiz and getting a win over White before White was somebody. It's really not a terrific resume. And if he loses, like, I think he goes into irrelevancy. On top of all that, he's taking this big fight, which I think for his legacy is make or break with a brand new trainer. Now, yes, he's in Texas, and you don't mess with Texas. If there's anything we know, it's you do not mess with Texas. You can mess with England. You can mess with New York. You cannot mess with Texas. So, I, I, I you know, it, I, I'm, I'm sure it's a good fit, but this – Guys, if you think this is a tune-up fight, it's not. This is a hard, difficult fight that he should win. He should pass. But this is not a pushover. This is not This is not a tune-up. This is not you know, a get-right fight. This is a real fight. He's a real fighter. Um, he's 29. He's hitting his physical prime for a heavyweight. Like, Jermaine Franklin is a real threat in this fight, guys. This is not an easy fight. Um... And if he loses, I mean, is that it for him? And and then going into a fight, you know, Derek James trains Spence, Charlo, Little Charlo, Martin, great fighters. He doesn't train any heavyweights. And it's fundamentally, I'm not saying he can't. I'm not saying that. He's a great trainer. I'm sure he can. But he's never done it before. And this is his first time. You know, Robert Garcia did it. And, you know, I, I thought his game plan was better. Um. This, it was, you know, in the second fight with Usyk, but he really wasn't executing. It's it, it's tough when you're working with guys a hundred pounds smaller, right? And it's a fundamentally different approach to the sport. When you go in with Joshua, you're expecting him to knock him out. You don't have that same expectation. You may load up and gun for it at spots, but when when, when Jamal Chalo. When he fights Tim Zhu, if that does happen next, you're expecting to go 12. That's your anticipation going in. When Joshua fights Wilder or Franklin, maybe Usyk's different, but when he fights these guys, your, your goal is to go in and knock them out. You're not planning on going 12. That's plan B. Plan A is get this guy out, right? It's a different approach, right? And, and you know, I don't want to say heavyweight boxing is lesser boxing than the small division, but it's obviously lesser boxing, right? It just is what it is, right? Like Usyk, the reason why Usyk dominates the heavyweight division is because he's a great fighter. He's a great boxer who happens to be a heavyweight. And there's a big difference between that and 
Wilder and Joshua and Fury, who are just good heavyweights. And you can say Fury is a great heavyweight, right? A great boxer who happens to be a heavyweight will always win that fight. Always. And that's why Usyk dominates the division like he does, because he's a great fighter who happens to fight at heavyweight. So where does Joshua go from here? Well, he better get a win if he wants to save this legacy, right? Because if he loses, guy's in a lot of trouble. Right, his legacy is complete. I don't know if he comes back, and he's got this all on the line with a guy who's never trained to have it was a decent middleweight super middleweight boxer, good super middleweight boxer, I'll say, a middleweight boxer in his in the 90s. I mean, we saw Derek James on Tuesday night fights if you're my age, right? Um, who's trained, who's a great trainer, but it's never trained to heavyweight. Like, there's a lot, and I'm picking Joshua to win, but there's a lot writing on this and there's a lot like a lot of factors that would make me favor franklin but i'm picking joshua officially i'm gonna pick him on points let me know what you guys think i know i just <laughs> let me know what you guys think. if you have thoughts comments below please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog and all forms of social media quick hits comes at you every day eight to ten minutes a day we'll be back with a reaction to the eubank fight um later on today uh please also subscribe to the channel texas boxing scene on youtube um, it is March 31st, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.